And good evening, one, good evening, all. Welcome back to another live Let's Play Binder exclusive to YouTube. I am your host, Switchbone, for the remainder of the evening, and the chat box is over in that direction. Good evening to you, Chris, and you, Jim, and say good evening. Good evening to you, too. And while since the last stream, I've been doing a little bit of offline work, but not gone too far with it. We are deep in the mountain, and we are about to carry on our quest. But before we do that, Time for us to do some menu management, people. Oh boy, don't we love it so much. So all you people out there, welcome to the stream. Thank you very much for checking things out. And we will be here for, well, a bit of, little while longer tonight. So please feel free to enjoy as best as you can. Ah, that's what we're to do. Okay, so we'll start with a move. Yay, I'll do start that. Let's get some power. Ah, chat on screen. Yeah, we've managed to get it in there, which is kind of cool. Managed to get it working. I got it working from my last, from my last test stream, and it seems it is actually working here too. That's great news. I'm pleased to hear that, because I was worried that that was going to be letting me down again. But there we go. It's now all working. Um, there's not much point to moving, because I'm not near to the next place, so I'll save that one. Yeah, check out the Honey Badger's smile there. For those of you who are F1 fans, you're probably cursing me now for bringing back that meme. You're welcome. As I say, very much a case of trying to see what we can get out of this. So, let's build our characters a bit more, and then we will carry on as we battle. Meanwhile, good evening, Avian, just seeing you jumping in there. As I say, all goes well for me. How are you doing? As I say, it's been a while since I've been back, and for those of you who didn't see the community post, thanks to a change in the PS Plus Premium and Extra tiers, as of next month, pretty much all the Final Fantasies are going. So we're on a clock. We are now playing this game until we beat it. Now the question is, do I go up here as Auron? What's this skill? Ooh, zombie attack. Uh, how many? Uh, how many of the actual level four key spheres have I got? Oh, I've only got two. I'm gonna have to come back for it. I can't justify that move just yet. Meanwhile, good evening, nice to chat to see you jump in there as well. How are you doing, mate? So I say, I do apologise for the menu management part of the stream, but I have um, points to use. I'm going to use them while I can. Yeah, it's weird. They're, they're going off PS Plus, Harris to chat, next month. So, for anyone who's playing on Game Pass, expect them to appear on Game Pass Ultimate next. That, that's my that's my theory. They'll leave PS Plus and go straight on to Game Pass. Yeah, that, that has a habit of happening from what I've seen. So I'm just glad that I've, I played this game when I did, because at least I've got a chance of getting to a decent distance without blowing without blowing it. But yeah, strange one. Very strange. Considering that we've only just recently seen the DLC drop for Final Fantasy 16. And we've also, of course, seen the uh, recent appearance of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. It seems a bit odd to take away the options. I don't know, maybe they're trying to maximise people to buy the game or something. Who knows? But needless to say, we are losing them. That's just the way it goes, unfortunately. There's not much we can do about it. Ooh, that's an interesting pair of questions there, Arista Jack. Spyro or Day of the Dead Jack Skellington? They'll both be awesome, either way. Um, you don't really see Spyro that often. I have seen quite a few Jack Skellingtons, so if you want to possibly stand out a bit more, that might be the option to go for. But the key thing is, what do you feel like doing? What do you want to cosplay? That's the most important thing with any kind of hobby. you got to do it for what you want. <laughs> yes, there was a bit of a sense of the X-Files theme about that, wasn't there, Chris? You started talking about how you could play any numbered Final Fantasy apart from 13. And then the and then Square Enix are like, yeah, we're taking them all away now. You're not going to be able to play any of them. You know, that, that's a conspiracy theory and a half for you all. And no, I'm not planning to play Final Fantasy 13, even though it is available on Steam. That's not a game I'm planning to play anytime soon. Yes, we'll return to the main menu. And we'll quickly save our game again because we've just increased our HP, so we might as well get a free heal while we can. And then we will carry on the game, I promise people.
Right, heads or tails? Let's go heads. Ah, oh, we can't go that. Oh, we've been ambushed. We don't need that. Oh! Oh, lucky, lucky, lucky. Huh? Very lucky. Now, the question is, do I gamble on this or not? Tell you what. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'll use the Arbor Potion. Oh! Yeah, I was afraid they might decide to gang up on one of us. It's always irritating when that happens. It's incredibly annoying. You need do us a favour, will you? Insert, insert the clip. Insert the clip of um, is it Chris Rock or Aruz who starts going? You just got knocked out. I see no Ow. difficulty. Does that apply at this moment in time? And you, meanwhile, can switch for Lulu. He, he was dead, as Arista Jack. He's not anymore. Be fair. Luckily, they haven't taken out Lulu. That's good. Oh, wow! I'm not sure what made him do that, but I'm not going to complain. Right. Let's summon a free. managed to get the chat working this time, so that gives you something all to um, have your claim to fame, people. There's not much fame around my streams, to be fair. It must be sad. That was not very nice of you, my friend. That was very, very unfriendly of you. Ah, so we're falling back on that attack, are we? Okay, fair enough. Have one of these. Nice. <laughs> As you say, Chris, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not sniffing out my sub count. I love the fact that so many of you have subscribed. Thank you all very much, every last one of you. Believe me, I massively appreciate it. I actually saw, I, I, I've seen something come back which I'm not a fan of. These people who start doing that whole, I'm only going to carry on playing if you all like my videos thing. I've, I've started seeing that coming back on the rounds, and I don't know why. It's really annoying. Okay, right, let's carry on. Oh. Ah! Me has a behemoth. That's a problem. Shout for heave. There's not much you can do when he uses it. I don't think it's going to work, so I'm going to go with Lazaga.
It's expensive. But I'm going to use it. Yep, yeah, that'll do. 9999 nine, 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 overkill. Thank you. Cheers, Uni. And look at that, nearly 10,000 AP from that fight. Yes, the, the, the algorithm is something I don't quite follow. Half the time half the time I look at the algorithm and I'm just confused by it. The videos that should do nothing do loads, and videos that should do loads do sod all, and you're just like... Does this make sense to anybody else out there? Can anyone make sense of this? And the answer is yes, there are those people who really know how to manipulate things, but... Not me. Not my style. Okay, because I don't want to waste all my MP, we're going to run away. Three items and then run. Yeah, no, no, I don't understand that, Chris. Excellent series, and then bizarrely you have a, a view spike in the middle, but not when it matters at the end. You think the ending is where you'd likely to get the audience, wouldn't you? People seeing how it ends. I think this is where we can't change for anybody else, which is irritating, but understandable. We are underwater. Yay, we stole a grenade. Oh, that's helpful. Right, speaking of grenades, why don't you use one? Before you do that, steal... Stole a frag grenade. Ooh, interesting. Yeah, that's right, Cedars. Come over. Couldn't celebrate while I was all the way over there, could he? Oh, no, 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 no. He had to get back in formation. Guy's a professional. I've got a hundred of them. Might as well use them. Save the MP. It feels nice to be playing a Final Fantasy where I can actually use items as much as I like. Of course, with the DLC, I started playing Final Fantasy 16 again, and that's been a breath of fresh air, in a way, to play through. If only because of, like, the just unusual world that we find ourselves in for that game. Yay! Keep the overkills coming. Overkill is good. I say, when I hear this acoustic guitar, I keep thinking of Hotel California. Hit the three panels simultaneously. What? Check each size for send, deciding who to send. Oh, I see. And then final it. Um, I'm guessing that didn't work. Oh, did it? Did that work? The, the lit up? Oh. Uh, 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 okay. Oh. Right. Okay. So what do the frag grenades do? Ah, inflicts damage and nullifies armoured on all enemies. Go on, I stole one, I might as well give it a try. 
Well, one's down. That makes two down. Oh, excellent. Steal again. Ah, oh, boo. Nope, not enough to kill it. I'm surprised. Okay. Wow, this thing's just not in the mood to die, is it? Another couple of water gems. I'll have those. Thank you. Yay. Fantastic. So why are there so many water levels in games and RPGs? That's the question I want to want asking. Now, I tell you what, I'm going to have some fun. I'm going to mix a grenade. As soon as I can find my grenades, where are they? With... Let's go over lightning marble. Not bad. That wasn't bad at all. That worked quite well. Let's try your um, elemental reels. Just want to avoid the blue if I can. And so I'm firing it up. Ow. Double ow. That was painful. Ah, that's all right, Avian, no worries. Let's say, I was like, they, they never know when to arrive, do they? They always arrive at the most inconvenient time. Oh, he's still not dead? Yeah, that's annoying, but fortuitously, once again, Riku and her armor potions, Incredibly useful. Now that's fair, Avian, as I say. I've always said if things aren't if things are difficult, don't feel obligated to do anything, just take it really easy and do what's best for you, mate. Do what's best for you. And I say it was recently, um, I say quite difficult over here as well for me, but I can, yeah. Take your time with it, that's all I can say. <laughs> yes, yeah, so her grenade attacks are useful, aren't they, Avian? They're very good. It's like, yes, throw, throw a stick of dynamite in there and just get it done. Don't don't mess around. I could really do with getting rid of one of these quickly if I can. Right, where's one of those frag grenades? Aha, there you are. Yep, we got rid of one of them. That was helpful. Oh, and now and now he petrifies it.
That's so irritating. The time that I don't need the petrification, I get it. Good thing is now we should have our whole party back. Yeah, I think what I need to do is actually there's a tiny little path up there. Oh, these guys are annoying. in later games I didn't play 15 enough so it's possible they cropped up in 15 actually uh, I'm trying to think of where else they could have cropped up wouldn't surprise me if they might have turned up in 12 because of the more technical nature of the technology kind of world so they might have turned up there I didn't mean to use you. I, I accidentally selected the wrong character like an it. idiot. That was a waste of a turn. Ah, uh, now Uni, your turn to finish this. I imagine there's more combos hidden in the game, but I need to get more items to experiment with. The Glorious Shield. Oh. Hey, hey! I have a, I, I have a, I have a full... I, I have, I have a full inventory. Right, I need to find somewhere... I need to find somewhere to offload a load of stuff. I need to offload a load of items. I have too much loot, people. I have so much loot, I need to make some serious money by selling it all off. Or fusing it. How can you have too much how can you have too much money? Too many items. How? Answer. Item carry cap. I know what you mean about not hearing much good about the later games, um, Avian. I heard that about quite a few of them. Let's say, having played 15, I can kind of see why it wasn't that great a game to me. I didn't really get into it. and flubbed him. So, the most recent attempt I put in on 12 was um, pretty lame, to be honest. I barely, pl I barely played it because I just didn't enjoy it. I'm going to give her a move a try, but it's been absolutely useless thus far. It doesn't work. It's practically pointless, that move. It's practically pointless. So you do me a favour and hit one of them with Holy just for a laugh. I'm going I'm to be using a save bar in a minute, so I might as well waste the MP. Then finally, Yuna. Summon a free for me. Say 16's been great, and let's say the new DLC has been intriguing thus far. I don't want to say too much, but um, I managed to unlock something that was weird. Oh, he's clinging on to life by the skin of his teeth. Oh, no, 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 You're not killing your freaks. 
That's not happening. Oh, big mistake. Say 16 bus files only on the PS5, but it is meant to be coming to PC soon. Say 16 was an interesting game. Basically, what if Game of Thrones had chocobos? But I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get on board with that. Once again, so SOS haste. Have I got anything that I can get rid of that is um, duplicated and not that's not that good? There, I've got one of you, I've got two of you. I realised at the last second I hadn't changed my party. I didn't want to get caught with a slow party. Yes. This enemy is kind of interesting. It looks similar to an Otu, and yet you can kill it with petrification. I agree with you completely. It's, it, it's almost. Uh... Allow me. Yeah, I get the feeling, Chris, that you sold items or fused them, whereas I've just been dragging them behind me like a massive anchor. When I played Persona 5 Royal, I didn't realise you could sell a load of treasure in that game, and I made something daft like three million in one in one move. It was ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It's wearing like a plant Hawaiian skirt, isn't it, Avian? Hit it with another throg while you come. Because I can't be bothered with that move. Give me a Shuna. Thank you very much. Oh. I can't use what I want to use, so for now... Just to get some free MP. Enemy that's like all over the status changes, you can kill it with the um, with the petrification sword. It's amazing. I say this area of the game is brilliant for getting access to moves on the sphere grid. Why do you think I've been running around this save point so much? Right. Anyway, let's carry on the next part of the game. Um, no, I didn't mean to do that. Boo. That was me being an imbecile, there, people. Oh, for you again. Oh. Yay, I got it this time. Hey, energy rain. Interesting, I wonder what that does.
Just get everyone's um, stats up a bit. Oh, nah, 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 nah. You're not allowed to poison my people. That's not allowed. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> um, Avian, have you been playing GTA San Andreas? Glory Hole Donuts. That reminds me of that. What was it? The Glory Hole theme park. Which had the legendary line, Glory Hole where strangers become friends. No, I'm not making that up. The creators of the GTA games are renowned for not giving an F, it will seem. To be fair, it's like in the um, in the rest in the WWE wrestling. There was going to be a women a women's um, stable of the three or three women's wrestlers that they were going to call the Submission Sorority. It was only when someone went online and googled the name that they found it was a name of a rather dodgy website, and they decided very quickly to change it. Uh, another one, oh, for God's sake. I need to do something about this. What the hell do I do? Right, that's got nothing. That can go. Uh. Highly rated on Duodash. Well, it certainly seems to it certainly seems to have been a glorious recommendation. Far too kind with that laugh there, Avian, but I'll take it. <laughs> oh, boo. I didn't want to miss that. That's annoying. Oh. That went better than I could have hoped. Yes, that's more irritating than anything. So, how shall we do this? God, munchies. Were, weren't they, weren't they a form of chocolate at one point, munchies? Like chocolate caramel biscuit or something like that. It certainly sounds reminiscent of things that I once knew. Excellent, finish it. <laughs> oh no, I've got two things to get rid of now. For God's sake, no! Will you kindly stop this? Stop giving me loot when I don't need it. Right. That can replace the ring. Right, I've got loads of katanas here, which are completely useless. Oh, that's a shame, Mr. Beast Burger. Because he got, he got, he got he thought he shut him down. Oh, oh no! Oh god, I was, I was thinking of something else. Yeah, the Mr. Beast Burger. Isn't that like some famous YouTuber or something, Mr. Beast? I don't keep much in control. It must be said. <laughs> wow! Oh no, Avian! Oh no! 
that, that, that's a that, that's a different one. I mean, you could say that one's exhausting. Oh, it's called Three Musk. I foresee no difficulty. No, don't do that. <laughs> I, bet, I bet you, I bet you wish you had your cameras that day. Well, the closest thing I ever saw to that was when I was in Thailand. Should tell you everything. Um, I saw in a department store forms of soap that you could buy. The soap was shaped like male genitalia, and in order to get the soap to lava. You had to do that. And no, I am not making that up. Take that. Because I wasn't aware that Mr. Beast does the dog rush do. That's pretty awesome to be fair. Oh, I've got a quiet cat she, which includes silence touch. Right, okay. I'm literally carrying like a million pieces of equipment around. It's, it's crazy. Chris is there going, what are you doing with all this stuff? And I'm like, must hard loot, must not let go. Must be dragon on the mountain of gold. Oh dear, Chris. To be fair, that I wouldn't be surprised if such a place exists, to be honest. Right, I think we're going the right way now. Oh, it's these guys again. Oh, there wasn't enough to kill it this time. <laughs> Off my battlefield, you. Get out. <laughs> Wanting the old fish and chips, are you, Avian? I mean, I would say I'd bring some British ones over, but they won't last the journey. Ah, oh, Chris, now you're scraping the bottom of the barrel with that one, dude. Now you really are scraping the bottom of the barrel. Well, then, true, what can't, next? can't claim false advertising if it's coming through like that. You're not wrong. So, what can I get rid of for the Seeker's Bracer? Let's find out. Ooh, um, yeah. Yeah, I, I think I'm going to leave that one alone, Chris. I'm going to stay away from that one. Come on, that's just a regular bracer that can go. Oh, I'm gone. Say one touch change of party would have been a beautiful addition to this game. But do you know, like um, we mentioned about how next month a lot of the Final Fantasy games are leaving PlayStation Plus. Well, earlier today. Oh, I'm gonna wait. Cut saying I'll let this play out first. They'll be upon us soon. She has sent fiends to test our summoner's strength. 
who is she? Unaleska. Lady Unaleska. Ooh. In Xanarkin, she awaits the arrival of the strongest. She is still alive? As much as Micah and Seymour. I see. Lost your nerve? No. Nothing frightens me now. <laughs> Braska would be proud. Then I must not let him down. So, yeah, so I was saying, um, earlier on today, out of curiosity, there was a search made of Microsoft's um, Game Pass. If you want to play Final Fantasy X and X2 on that service, they want £45. So $60 for a game released more than 20 years ago. How rubbish is that? Main thing about a bit of fighting in an elevator, Chris. Just hope you don't drop. Yes, you heard me, people. Oh, is it twenty pounds? It's still quite a lot of money. Oh no, that wasn't Sony. That's my point, Avian. It wasn't Sony this time. It wasn't them, but that was Microsoft. Yeah, £20 on Steam. £45 on Microsoft. Oh yeah! Apologize for this, people. I know it's tedious, but it works. Ah, now I've got the Ice Moomba. Load of slots now, so I definitely want to keep that weapon because I can upgrade it. In fact, that's something I might try and do. I might try and upgrade that Ice Moomba. It's awesome if you do, um, Avian. Hey, fantastic. Oh, but before we do that, we have to fight a fight. A mana tablet? Wonder what that does. Feel the pain, people. Feel the pain. I was about to read your comment out then, Chris, and I, I did a double take wondering what you get. I think I know what you mean, but it made me think you were saying something else, if you know what I mean. Ow. That's a painful move. I've still got the original 7 and 8 somewhere in my house. I've still got them on the PS1. I've also got the um, Nintendo Switch car reissue of both games. Oh, 
Overkill with Holy. Holy Overkill. <laughs> That's not what I was getting at, but fair enough, Chris. <laughs> right, let's quickly change the formation, and then after that, we are going to quickly go back on the Sphere Grid. Because we've unlocked quite a few moves here, which is kind of useful. Ah, nice. So you got the same collection there, Avian. That's fantastic. Right, onto the sphere grid. One more time. Here we go. One. Right, let's get up there firstly. No, no, no. Thank you. So the problem with Tidus is I've got loads of moves with him, but there's loads of empty squares. Now, I suppose I could use them with the spheres, but they're not, there's not that many things to fill them with. Although, that could be useful. That's each the ability quick hit, which I'm hoping... I just realised I'll bring him to the end of his lock. So where would I take him? What room would I take him on? Ah, oh, it takes him onto Yuna's room. Uh, interesting. So, the question then is, what do I do with him? Ah, I suppose I could always go back here, which puts him on... And that also puts him on Yuna's route, I think. So whose route is this? Hmm, interesting. Okay. I don't think I'll be getting near to the end of one of the character's moves already. I'm surprised by that. I will take that before moving back. That's okay. Can briefly overtake Kimari. <laughs> yes, Chris. Yes, I have. <laughs> But I, want, I wanted to have a chance, I wanted to be able to fight, and now I'm getting there, so it's okay. Ah, that teaches the ability quick pockets, but look at how many level 4s I needed to get there. That's way too far. Ah, uh, now I've got a choice of Auron. Do I go left or right with him? Or do I do both? I think I do both. Because that takes him... Ah, uh, that's, that's the only way we can go. So we can either go this way down here and then across. Or we can go this way and learn a couple of moves and go down. The only advantage of going this way is luck and some extra HP. Oh, it gets the ability to end trust, though, whereas this way gets the ability Sentinel, so it's difficult. That's very... Yeah, it is, it, apparently if you play on Expert mode where everyone starts in the middle, obviously you have full customization of what routes to take people down. But you also have to know what you're doing, which I clearly don't. You also know how frustrated I was getting with the um, sphere grid. And yes, I know that there are people out there who are crazy enough to have beaten this without using the sphere grid, but I'm not one of them. Oh, teaches the ability to double cast. Wow. You'd have to go down there, then use a level 3 and a level 4. But believe me or not, I do actually have both of those, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to take her down the double cast route. And you can move one over there, because why not? And finally, Liku.
I mean, if I wanted to use the keys, yeah, it only gets me a few extra attacks. There's not much point. <laughs> challenge unaccepted. Absolutely true. You're not wrong. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be accepting that challenge anytime soon. It's like, nope, not this time. I have far too much respect for my own time for that. And that gets the ability to bribe. And then after that. Oh, hello, that takes her on to Lulu's room. So I can get a fire mage, I can get a mage and a thief. That could be very useful. Quick save, then we'll carry on. Yep, instant denied. Denied. Actually, no. I'm going to steal from you. A high potion. Mm, nah. I've seen worse. I'll take it. Enough. Oh. Never That's mind, I'll run. Done. Okay, fair enough. I plan to get AP for everybody. I'm Auron's like, nah, not got time for that. And just ended the battle. Our run has our our run has no chill, people. We should have realised that by now. Ah, here we go. It comes. Okay. So he starts the battle with some serious major moves here. Steal from it, see what it's got. The Sanctuary Keeper. Stole a Turbo Aether, could have been had there. That was pretty powerful, especially with all those status moves. Damn, that's annoying. That's incredibly annoying. All those status effects are the last thing I needed. Yeah, status moves like that I've never been a fan of in, bo in boss battles. They're always annoying. No, I don't do that. I also don't understand what uh, what is what what that move is, what that glowing aura is to Tidus right now. And because I don't know what it is, I'm getting out of here as fast as possible. as much damage as we can. Meanwhile, Kimari. Here we go. Mighty Guard. Learned off offline. Oh, wow. Th it's supposed to be 35. That's insane. Tell you what. I've got, I've got, the, I've got the, I've got the, um, ability... to cast I'm going to see how powerful it is he's got 40,000 HP that does a lot of damage it's also very expensive though that's the only problem still it's helpful it's a start tell you what scan it for me So 
So he uses healing magic and reflect. So that's annoying. So it's one of those bosses where what it's done is given it the ability to just basically cause as much problem as possible. The kind of boss that you really don't like arguing with. I might, I might, I might see if I can get Auron to cast that. Um, oh, here we are, Man of Breath. Pretty powerful, but that was about as far as it went, so that could have been much worse. Yay, that worked. Okay, cool. That's helpful. No. Yep, it's gone for Karaga and given itself 9999. So, this is where I've got to hit it with my heaviest move as fast as I can. So that's negated his healing. Right, Kimari, do me a favour. Use Albert Potion. I've not yet I've not yet used Lulu in the battle, so I should I should use her. Right, I need here's what I need to do. I need, I think, to get haste on the party. Because otherwise this is just gonna be a never-ending attritional battle. Right, it's not you I need to use it on. Tell you what. Use an ether on yourself for now. Kimari, that'll do. Let's speed up the parser. This is where I've got a possible problem. Unless... Hooking Akimari back to the battlefield. Okay, yeah, I'm going to get a second move. I've got a chance here. I've got loads of them, better off using Remedy here. can use it as well because you've got enough MP. I don't know how I'm going to beat this battle without um, having access to the sphere grid to one more. There's definitely the status moves that made all the difference in that battle. Meanwhile, good evening, Queen. What have you missed? A boss fight. That's what you just missed. Hey, can't we rest a little? No need. We reach the summit soon. I know. That's why I want to stop for a bit. Soon means that there's not much time left. Riku. Fine. I'll think on the way. Yeah, unfortunately not everyone was able to get AP from that battle because I needed to... Oh, we got a return sphere. I don't know what that does. And then the inducer. 
half MP cost. That'll be a fantastically useful move. I am actually at the point where I need to find a way to be able to get rid of some of my items, because unfortunately, I'm carrying too many. Hey, come on, let's go. We are almost there, aren't we? <sighs> We've come a long way. <laughs> What's so funny? You remind me of myself. Hmm? Before, the closer I came to Xanarkand, the more I wondered. When we arrive, Brasco will call the final Aeon. He will fight Sin, then die. I thought my mind was made up long before. But when I stood here, my resolve wavered. Hmm. Never would have figured. Legendary Guardians choke sometimes too, yeah? Huh? <laughs> Legendary Guardian. I was just a boy. A boy about your age, actually. I wanted to change the world, too. But I changed nothing. That is my story. Well, that's depressing. <laughs> you think Riku can be a really annoying avian? I like Riku. Mainly because she's really fast and gets me out of trouble. So you, you'd, you'd have enjoyed um, one of the things that happened in my play for Final Fantasy VII Rebirth then, that's all I've got to say. And no, I'm not saying any more than that. Those who know, know. Right, I want to quickly go back and use the save point. Oh, there's a treasure chest there too, I just noticed it. But first, let's get our game saved. Oh, it's not. It's a, it's a gate. You can go back to the gate of Gagaza. Ah, right. Okay, so it's a warp point. Oh, no, don't do that. Okay, right. Walk wide around it. Ugh. And we've been ambushed. Great. Not what I needed. Hey, a soul spring. That could come in handy, I suppose. And then so someone insert the clip. Someone insert the clip. Do you just got knocked out? Clip. I'm not in charge of clips right now because I'm live. It's difficult for me to change clip while I'm here. <laughs> I said that's true actually. I've not, got, I've not got the mod status on for anyone of mine. I should change that at some point. Plus I mean it's what's in the game footage as well, Chris, so it wouldn't quite work. Won't be a problem, trust me. Tell you what. Oh, that wasn't enough to finish him, surprised. Oh. Oh no 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 no. You don't do that. Not to a three. 
Oh, wow, that's even more powerful. Interesting. That was more powerful than fire. Ah, it must have been a critical hit. Only thing that makes sense. Nah. I'm not wasting this. Okay, if you're not going to attack me, then that's fine. I can do this all day, mate. That's right, pull up your duds. That's fine. I can do this all night. And now it's time for an overkill. Oh, I didn't give me overkill, even though I doubled the health damage. Boo. No matter. <laughs> I have way too many items, people. This is so annoying. Right, I might as well quickly um, reform my group again. This is to say with the encounter rate in this game, it can be a real nuisance for that reason. So, like, uh, ra random encounters where the encounter rates are stupidly high is like an, an annoyance, shall we say? It's incredibly annoying. Still. We're out in the open. No treasure here. So towards the mountain we go. Nice 2D... Nice 2D navigation here. Oh. Oh, wow. That is so low a poly. Dead for a thousand years. Oh, that looks a horrible. A city I had to see with my own eyes. The end of Yuna's journey. The last chapter in my story. My thoughts, they kept floating up and then slipping through my fingers. Slipping away before I could pin them down with words. Yeah, I know what you mean, Chris. Yuna, I say no. If we go down there, then you'll... Riku, you're a true friend, and I thank you, but... I must go... down to Sanarkand. I'm not saying we shouldn't go. But should we think about it some more? There's gotta be some kind of way we can save you, Yuna! All my life, I knew this moment would come. Yuni! <sighs> Thank oh. you. Riku. Thank you for everything. Don't say that, Yuni. It's not over yet. Tell Sid, thank you. No, you can tell him yourself. Do we really need this spinning Please. around, Cam? Uni, don't say that because we're gonna see each other again, okay? Kimari, let's go. Okay, so what's in the sphere then? And why did she drop it now? Um, just turn it on. It's not a seashell. Just turn it on. Hit the red button. Sir Oren, Kimari told me when my father wanted me taken from Bavel to Besaid, it was you who told Kimari, right? 
I had always wanted to meet you someday. I am truly glad that I had that chance. Having you as a guardian was so great an honor. I don't know how to thank you. Perhaps if I defeat Sin, that will be my thanks to you. That's what I'll do. Yes. I will challenge Sin. I will defeat Sin. If you are all there watching this, then I guess Sin is already gone. And so am I. I suppose. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to say, Sir Orin, uh, I thank you. Kimari, <laughs> do you remember the first day we met? I was only seven. My father had defeated Sin, and all Bavel was celebrating. Everyone was saying what a hero my father was. I was so happy. But when night came, it occurred to me. My father had defeated Sin, and now... This is such a dead. weird disconnect between the audio now, and the visual. I was all alone. I couldn't sleep. Is this a glitch? So I wandered into the town, away from the celebrating crowds. I stood on the bridge in Bavel, where my father and I had parted. Standing there, alone. The Final I Fantasy could see the, the audio book where people. he had fought Sin. Then, you appeared, Kamari. You said you were looking for the daughter of Vraska, remember? At first, I was so scared. Until I realized what a gentle person you are. <laughs> you weren't used to talking to children. Nice try, Chris. Doesn't when do I anything. told you that I was Braska's daughter, BFI. you said you would take me as far from Bavel as you could. That it was the wish of a man facing Lest death. Lest it does move the screen now. I think. But very, very slowly. I cried then. Because that. That was when I knew my father was dead. And I would never see him again. You just held me. Without what? saying a word. What's the point of that? I cried after we got to Besaid, too. When you tried to go, after leaving <sighs> me in the care of the temple, I held on to you crying, Don't go! Don't go! And you listened, Kimari. You stayed. Kimari, thank you. Thank you so much. And there's Auron hidden out of sight. And I've always liked your broken horn. Waka, Lulu. I'll never forget my days spent with you, growing up in Besaid. We always played together, us and Chapu. That's why I was always so happy, I think. And when you refused to let me become a summoner, and I did it anyway, I'm sorry. I've always wanted to apologize. You know, when you tried to stop uh, me then, really, I was happy. Uh, I could tell is anyone you else really bored to tears? About me. Shut the you fuck like up and carry on the game. Brother and sister. No, I think you really were my big brother and sister. <sighs> what else? Exposition, exposition, padding, padding, padding. I love watching you play exposition, football, exposition, padding, padding, padding. <laughs> I even love it when you scold me, Lulu. <laughs> really. I guess that leaves the newest guardian. Star player of the Xanarkand Abes. You are... I am... Well, I'm glad. I'm glad that we met. We haven't even known each other that long, but I'd have so put this disc down if I was if I was tears by now. So, so this is what it feels like. It's a much more wonderful feeling than anything I had ever imagined. Wonderful, but it hurts sometimes. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder. 
I... I just want to say thank you for everything. Maybe... Maybe that's why it hurts. When I... When I think about us never being together again at all... I'm afraid. No, I shouldn't say that. I'll do that part over. Um... What you up to? Yep. So it makes sense why it went on and on and on, but oh god, was that pun intended tedious. Oh, come on, there's nothing hidden in there. A little outcro outcrop and there's nothing hidden, not even a chest. That's disappointing. You were pleased to know, Avian, you can now wake up. And that was a weird camera angle. We're in the dust of a former city. We're talking now, people. Here we go. Ah, there was some buffer. Oh. Okay, why are our weapons on the ground? Yep, this is where the game started. That's the longest intro sequence of all time. Oh god, those eyes are creepy. The way they're animated. Yes, Chris. Good reference there with that one. I can see the pub from here. Can we please progress? Yes, this is artistic and cinematographic. No, it's not interesting. Move on. Listen to my story. No, shut up. Move on the story. This may be our last chance. I don't care. Move on. Go. Was more, right? Oh, the better yeah, fucking I mean, not like be. that time, uh, anyone? Everyone else has fallen asleep, and who can blame them? I think. Yes. I think that we should stop. Thank you, Yuna. Maybe, for now. a place to save my game even better yes just because you can include a half hour talking scene doesn't mean you should 
It's fine in a movie. It's not fine in interactive media like a game. Well, this looks kind of cool, actually. I like, the, I like the, the broken highway. Reminds me of um, one of the later Final Fantasy. Oh, we've been ambushed by a behemoth. That's just not crooked. That really isn't crooked. It's a punch to the face. That's what it is, actually, to be fair. Jesus, you've got a real problem with Riku, don't you? You have a serious problem with Riku. No, Avian, that's not directed at you, by the way. Yay, we stole an Aether. That's great. Right. Wonder if you can learn anything from him. I've used it before, but it doesn't mean we can do it now. Nope. The answer is... Eh -eh. Very good damage, it must be said. Very, very good. You're getting on my nerves. Suck on this. I'm hoping there's a way to break the damage cap. I didn't get any exp any AP from Waka then. Whoops. Sorry, Waka. Unintentional. Completely unintended. That. My fault. Not yours. So, time to take advantage of going back to the save point, again. Uh, do I want you to save what, Queen? Say what? If you're on about skills to get, um, I've already got some decent ones. I managed to... I managed to I'm, I'm assuming there will be, because um, a lot of the moves... Uh, well, there definitely must be, because when I used uh, Magaflar against uh, Seymour's farm, it did 13,000 damage. And that was Bahamut in Prime farm with, Mag with Magaflar. So there definitely must be a way to do it. The question is, how do you do it? It's weird fighting with this calm, soothing music. It feels like a major tonal shift. There's one of those where you have to formulate special weapons for it, then that's something I'm going to have to look up in the guide. Because there's no way I'm spending forever trying to figure that shit out. I hate mechanics like that, it really annoys me. Mechanics like that just are extremely annoying for no reason. So be it. That wasn't enough to kill him. I'm surprised by that. That's just annoying. Thank you, that's what I was hoping you'd do. <laughs> 
See you later. Yeah, if it's one of those where the ultimate weapons go, that'd be fine, but I get the feeling that the ultimate weapons won't be as fair in the way you obtain them as other games. It'll involve some stupid fetch quest or, I don't know, some, some random side rule or something. I know what this game's like. And to which this is getting really infuriating now. They really, they really need to chill out with the actual, with the, um, the encounter rate in this game. The encounter rate is getting stupid. Well, it's unlikely to be anything get anytime soon anyway, Queen, or at least I'd be surprised if you can. So the problem with me when I speculate is often I'm right. Like I will say, if it involves playing that shit minigame, I'm not doing it. Allow me. That minigame can fuck off. I'll do without it. There's nothing wrong with random encounters, it's when That's the encounter rate done. is too high. Because it's art it artificially pads the game. I think I might already have that one. The ra random encounters, when, when, when all they do is like up the rate that you fight enemies, it's not, it's not in any way fun. All it does is pad the game out. It's like the, the playtime for this game would be cut in half if they did a small adjustment to the encounter rate, which I'm not a fan of, because again, it just it just artificially inflates the game, and it makes it a slog to play through. Fortune Sphere, that sounds all right. See, we took, what, seven, spe seven paces then before we were attacked? It's just silly, in my opinion, not. Yeah, I've got loads of musk. I found loads of it. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh well, I can use it on the next turn, it's not a big deal. Yeah, I've got I've got tons of musk. I've been getting it from that one from that all day. I don't know what the hell it does, but I've, I've, I've found loads of it. Oh no no Chris, that, that that's not what was being um, being charged there. I, I'd be very surprised if that was the aim. Me ranting about in in encounter rates, uh, maybe, and that's what you missed. So not much, I'll be honest. Nah, you don't, you don't want one of my series of me ranting, it's it's not that... No, the, problem, the problem with rants, um, Chris, is they get very, very tiresome to listen to very quickly. 
Uh, the, the, uh, the, the occasional run is okay, but if you try to make that an actual thing that goes on forever, it just gets so boring very quickly. They, they always say that the best thing to do is not make something... Oh. Um... Okay. Looks like the far plane. Close enough. Would run out of material very quick. Well, to be fair, that's my streams every time anyway, to be fair. Quickly running out of material. So what does Musk do then? Why is it why is it something that I should be trying to acquire as much of? Um then I'm I'm, I'm intrigued there, Queen, by that one. What what what's the reason for it? Is there one? What do you tell me? Ow. Pain. Ah, you can use to craft confusion defensive item and with armor. That's pretty useful, actually. It must be said. So the problem is, I, I, I don't want to spend streams doing doing menu management. I really don't want to do that. Oh. Like, ow. That's, like, totally not on. What do you think you're doing? Hmm. Uh, I'm gonna go full. I'm gonna go big. Screw it. Again, this is the problem. A lot of these, a lot of these mechanics don't work for streaming. And obviously, the game wasn't designed around that anyway. Let's be fair here. But you can't really do this kind of stuff while, while, you're, while you're in screen mode. It just doesn't work unless there's an audience for menu managing. And if there is, bon Bonza, I guess. But I'd be surprised, to be honest, if that's the case. Nice one, Kimari. That'll do. I've already got one of you, so you can go. Yes. Enjoy the sounds, people, because it's not going to change anytime soon. One more, do it. Nah, because with all those beeps and blips over and all it'll do is keep people awake. But yeah, once again, chill out with the encounter rate. Seriously. my battlefield. I foresee no difficulty. Nice, that's good. So we've gone into that mode, have we? Okay. It's expensive. I don't care. Suck on this. Already got one. Yeah. You can replace that one. This is <laughs> I might as well while I've got the chance. Come on. 
Yep, okay, let's get cracking. No, no, no. Get me the loot. I'm not leaving it behind. The spiritual targ. Oh. Oh, MP stroll. Oh, nice. Get MP back while you're walking around. Okay, uh... Where are the targs? Come on, where are you? Sound like I'm playing Senshu again all of a sudden. Where are you? Well, right, that's just a regular tag. You can have that one. I mean, MP tag would be basically a replacement for. Yeah, it's for. It's for. But you see, for, for Riku, that's quite a good one. Resisting poison, resisting stone. I could probably use it to level up those things. Oh. Oh, it's one of you guys. Oh, oh now you're taking uh, Michael. That's just not on. Oh. Jeez. This game ain't messing around today, it would seem. This is what happens. You get one ambush and then that's it. Your battle's over. Fortuitously, we should have quite a few so amount of turns. So it seems that Defense is almost impossible to get right in this game. Seems really difficult to get a party who've got decent defense. Right, you can escape the battlefield for now. He didn't have a lot of health left. He did not have a lot of health left at all. As expensive as it is, I'm finishing him. I've got the ethers. I might as well. That sounds good, Major. Oh, nice. MP plus 20 and MP plus 10. Wow. That's pretty useful. So I need a merchant so I can sell a load of stuff. But I've not seen... I've not, I've not come across one in ages. They didn't really think that through, in my opinion. Would have been better if there had been a bit more checkpoints. I mean, yeah, you have save points at least, but it'd be nice if you could actually call out people to, you know, trade with. But I might struggle with all that. This is part of the problem. As I say, menu management, it's never fun. They shouldn't make games around menu management. Again, this would, this would speed the game up by twice the amount as well if there was far less menu management to do. I say, sorry to say, but I do not get the hype. I really don't get the hype with this game. It's not awful, but I don't understand why so many people rave about it. Look at that. We made, we did literally like three steps. Seriously, the encounter rate in this game needs to chill the fuck out. It's not, it's not fun. It's annoying. It needs to chill the fuck out. It needs to fuck right off. That's helpful, at least. We've got, we've got a checkpoint. They should just call this random encounter simulator. Journeyer of the long road, name yourself. I am the summoner Yuna. I have come from the island of Besaid. Your eyes, my dear, show me the long road you have traveled. Very good. 
You have journeyed well. Lady Unaleska will surely welcome your arrival. Yeah, right. Go to her now and bring your guardians with you. Go. Yeah, yes. yeah, whatever. <clears throat> So this looks like the inside of the Blitzball Arena, doesn't it? If it might benefit the future of Spira, I will gladly give my life. It is the highest honor for which a guardian might ask. Um, Use my life, Lady Yoken, and rid Spira of sin. Riku collapsing in pains and trust them. What was that? Our predecessors. She said Lady Yoken, didn't she? Wait, she guarded High Summoner Yoken? This dome is filled with fireflies. It's like one gigantic sphere. People's thoughts remain here forever. Just so hard to watch that cutscene again. Oh. Never mind. Oh, there it is. Save point. That's all right. So it's funny, even if I wanted to play Blitzball, I can't. It's not letting me. So, if there, any, if there is anything locked behind that game, I can't get to it regardless. Why do I get the feeling that these enemies are dead? Yep, I was right. They're undead. Candle of life. Ah, so they've just done the zombie switch now. So be it. There are plenty of reasons why, but this is where Zombie Ward would come in handy. But I don't have access to that ability, so there's not much I can really do. Yeah, it just seems to switch it every turn, which is irritating. Allow me. Got some decent amount of abilities first at least. Can't complain too much about that. Yeah, this is about this is an area of the game where once again the challenge comes from not getting bored by all the um, random encounters. Uh, no, nah, everyone else is okay for now. So there's clearly a way to go back up there for some treasure. Now we have the box. Stole three holy waters. Sounds good to me. Let's go with this. Pretty damaging. Caused quite a lot of damage. Uh, 
Oh, that's nothing. Oh, we got an overkill, though. Put them on the back of the field. Ow. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, boo. Couldn't steal anything. How annoying. Yes. Oh. Well, that's kind of annoying. That's extremely annoying. For that, you're getting killed. Ejecting a member of my party from the battlefield. Who do you think you are? And what's really annoying there, of course, is that um, Waka gained no AP despite doing moves and killing enemies. That's not really on. If, you, if you've done damage, you should get the actual thing for it. I'm quite annoyed by that. Anyway, I have moves on the grid, so I might as well take advantage and use them while we can. And... Uh, really? Tell me I can at least get that ability. I can. Called quick hit. Whatever that does, I don't know. But I'll take it anyway. Yeah, but I've always, I've never been a fan of games that do that. It's always frustrating. Now the question is, how many level key spheres have I got? I've got three. I'm gonna go for it. Get down there! Why am I slide that off for some reason? I'm pressing the options, I kept going backwards. Fantastic. Okay. Meanwhile, Lulu. This music is annoying me way too much. I am sick of that march. It's getting on my nerves. One advantage I have is I can actually tap my headphones off. So that's what I've done. Oh yeah, Chris, it definitely could be like that one from that boss fight. Believe me, that was horrible, but I'm just getting really... It's not just the um, sound, it's the fact that it's so repetitive. I've never been, I've never understood why some games developers don't think about long-term exposure to the same very short repeating notes. I've never comprehended why they do it. It's just, there's no excuse for it in my opinion. There's no excuse for getting lazy and recycling the same, the same soundtrack in such a short period of time, it's just really annoying. But the good news is, I can set mine off, so it's fine. I just realised that Yuna's is almost at the end of her grid again, which is kind of funny. Get plenty of, par get plenty of skills learned on the party here, at least. I can't complain too much. Interesting, I didn't know that, uh, Chris, that this was the first one where Naboo didn't uh, do it by himself. It does make sense, though. There we go. How was that? 
Let's follow the Lunar Cotum, which is good. Part 3, um, hey Queen, that'd be pretty amazing if that happened. I'd be surprised, but it'd be a very welcome surprise. This is for the Fallen! And it's a home run! Oh, we got a level 2 key sphere from that anime. Oh, wow, that's good. Can't argue with that. Ten thousand gold. Oh, right, we're going to quickly steal from the guy in the middle, and then we're going to run away. Once again, absurdly high encounter rate for no reason, and stupid status effects that you can't ward off. The game really has not been designed very well for that. It really hasn't. It's a poor. It's a very very poor design choice. Very poor. Yes, we have the shields. Yeah, so you need many more of these. We don't say how many you need. So we need to steal more candles of life in order to get them, whereas they're holy waters. So, it is possible to grind out the items by stealing them, but it's just going to take such a long time. Look at that. He has a chance here. Yeah, and I can't, and I say, I can't be bothered doing that. I shouldn't, I shouldn't have to look up a guide for something that's a, that's a core mechanic of the game. I shouldn't have to do that. Right, so not even eight is enough. I have an idea. It's boring as fuck, but it'll work. It's the dullest thing in the world. It's the thing that no one wants to watch. There we go. It's 12. So you need 12 candles of life. So unfortunately, people, because I'm not pissing around with um, having that on there, we're going to be busy in grind mode for a while. 10, 12, doesn't matter. It's more than enough. You holy waters, which aren't bad because they do the ward rather than proof. 
Well, quite frankly. Yeah, that's fine. See, this is the dullest way to play the game, but unfortunately, it's the way the game's been set up. The game's been set up to do this, and I'm not dicking around with zombie. If the enemies around here are going to be using the zombie status all the time, I'm going to be grinding away to make sure that I don't have that problem. So get comfy, people. The stream's now derailed for at least half an hour. The game wants to add arbitra arbitrary issues to the game. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to navigate around them. Feel free to check back in half an hour. Had they had a merchant where you could buy these things, like in any other game, wouldn't be a problem. What do you mean, volume down? You know about the gains volume there, Chris? That won't be a problem. I can do that for you right now. There we go. The volume needs to be decreased, that's fine. Oh. Yeah, the only option for music is whether you listen to the arranged or the original soundtrack. There's no volume for it. Which is extremely annoying. You know, being able to change the volume of the music and that in the game can make a big difference to the experience. Steal a couple of lunar curtains and then we will run away. If that's, if that's what you want, I'll, I'll happily ignore you, Chris. And ignoring the audience is never a good thing for someone who's, who's streaming, by the way, people. It's not a good look. Never a good look to ignore your audience. Now, luckily, I think there's a save point up in a second on the map. So rather than to go all the way back for it, I can do it here. Far easier. It is a bit of a crack shield, unfortunately, in terms of what enemies you get. Yay, we got a preemptive. That's helpful. That's extremely helpful. I don't think I've seen any. I don't think I've got any purifying salt, Queen. I'm almost certain that I don't. I could be wrong, though. Ah, oh, the Targe. That's what you use. Okay. If I did steal one, then I'll have to take a look. Uh, come on. 
call them mini pipes. The annoying sound, people. So that's with flat moon charge, I can't equip that one. Seekers charge. Let's go with that one. HP increase. Just so I know I've got it more than anything else. Right, so I'm too short. Okay. But realistically I need to get oh god, how many do I need to get? Another another six another sixty-two. Or fifty-two. So that's going to be at least 30 encounters, people. And I said at least on purpose, because I knew there were ones where we wouldn't get them. Saying so, you know, that, because what's really annoying about the zombie status is that you can't really counter it without, unless you use remedies all the time or holy waters. And it's just wasting turns. Say, as for the um, purifying salt one to get no encounter, I'd probably need that much purifying salt. It's not worth that anytime soon. The moment I can turn random encounters off, the better. I mean, that's the one point. There is one advantage to high encounter rate. I'm say you can use it for things like this, but here's a better idea. Design the game so you don't have to do stupid crafting grinding. It's bad enough when people when you have to grind to get level ups in the first place. But making it so you have to craft a lot of shite on top of it as well. You know, that's just really boring. <laughs> yeah, been there and done that one. Um, I've been there and done that one as well, Avian. You're not wrong. Where well, the game decides it's going to stop giving you rewards you need. Side. I still don't understand why RPG, why there's some, why JRPGs need to have crafting mechanics included. There's no place for them. I mean, with the holy waters that we're farming, at least that'll come in handy. But they say the, can the candle of lives are better. Right, okay, good. We can get at least two from this battle. I mean, I can take a risk. And it's actually not that big a risk now, I think about it. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. I said it again, it's like, it, it wouldn't be so bad if the music wasn't the most repetitive music in the game. If they'd had the music um, flicking around a bit more, it'd have been fine. But no, they had to put the most annoying, boring soundtrack in the world in. And say if you had the ability to turn the music off so you could, I don't know, put anything else on, it won't be so bad either. But for now, we're going to keep it going. So, old gaming TV jumping in saying you spent about 700 hours on this game. I mean, awesome. I'm glad you enjoyed it, but I just can't figure out why you do that. And that is extremely annoying. Those kind of moves are very unbalanced. Never understood why they're in the game, moves like that. Again, this is why the um, encounter rate is annoying. Good news is I can get straight back to the save point and take advantage. No, 
I don't know why you've got to move before Cedars. Say, person what? I don't get the hype. But, as I say, I've played Final Fantasy VII for thousands of hours, so... I can't talk. <laughs> It'd be hypocritical. But yeah, say, message out there to you all over in Poland. Thank you very much for checking out the stream. It's awesome to hear from you, mate. Useful. Nice to get an evasion in that. There is some advantage to this. We are getting some useful items, so I can't complain too much. It's just a little bit tedious for you all. So I do apologise. This is where a more common person would end the stream and simply do it offline, but... We've come too far. We don't know how I can go in. Yeah, it doesn't hit a mark for me, Chris. It's in a mark for everybody else. Which is the main th aim that we're going for, I suppose. I think it's a polarizing game, this one. From what I've heard, it's very much a love it or hate it, from what I've seen. Which is a bit unfair, because I don't really hate the game. I just think it's got so many design flaws to it that would make this such a better game. There's so many simple things they could have done to fix it. They could have fixed progression a lot better. They could have fixed progression way better. They could have made um, some of the... They could have changed, balanced the encounter rate better. I, I'm, and I'm sorry to say, but your characters should have stats that grow organically outside of the sphere grid. Like, I mean, look at Lulu. Her HP is still 1980. Because if I go down her thing, when was the last time she had a health bomb? You know what I mean? That's unacceptable. That's absolutely unacceptable. You should gain HP when you level up. I think it's stupid that they do that. That's the problem. The, le the characters get left behind because of arbitrary reasons. Preemptive, that's excellent, that's really good. Could do with that. Quick change around to Kimari. get some experience from this battle. Potentially. Finish the fight. Oh, well, there, go there goes Waka. So with that in mind, we're getting out of here because I'm not losing any AP and I'm not getting a game over for an arbitrary reason. Interesting, though, you say you're playing, uh, you, you enjoyed 12 on the PS2 and are playing Zodiac Age on Steam. I tried playing 12. I could not get into it. I was sat there and I'm like, I really don't get this game. But, again, it's like there are those who are massive fans of Final Fantasy Type-0. I got in, I tried playing that, just couldn't get into it. It's like the Soulsborne games. There's, I don't like any of them. I've not got in, I did never got into the Dark Souls games. No matter how hard I tried, nothing I did would work. And yes, Avian, the game played me at my own rules with the whole get off my battlefield thing. How dare it? That's for me, the player. That's my right. I have the right to kick the game in the nads. The game doesn't have the right to do that to me. What does the game think it's doing? Back in your lane, game. 
So I think I might have enough now to make a customised version of Riku's, which was the one I wanted, was the one with the HP boost, I think. Right. Uh. I was going to try and sort that, but it's not letting me do it. That's annoying. Yeah, hearing that annoying um, bleeping noise, I'm really sorry about it, people. I'm not even got my headphones on and it's annoying me. Ooh. That could be useful. There it is, zombie proof. Ah, I can make one more as well. So I can make one for Waka, but first things first, let me get that one equipped before I forget. Moon Targ, where are you? There we go. Got no choice. I, 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 need, I need the zombie proof. It's as simple as that. So he's got evade and counter with the one he's got. Oh, that's it. Yeah, so dark ward and stone ward. Both useful. Oh. That's it, the arm guards. I'm there, I'm thinking, what's his, what's his, what's his move? That's SOS haste. Mm. So I think this is part of the problem with the crafting mechanic in this game. It takes a long time to decide on what you want. It's a pain. Don't get me wrong, I like the idea of your armor and your weapons affecting your skills, because obviously we saw that in the original games where you could equip like the fire ring and everything else. But it just feels a bit more of a chore in this game to me. It, for me, it's like it's one of those where you need to have someone with a guide that tells you everything. And if, I, if, to, if to get the best out of a game, I have to wear a guide or use a guide, then the, the game's failed, in my opinion. That boosts his MP stats, which would be useful for using the, um, what's it called? Buster move. It'd be great for those. That's defense. It might well be the magic one that I'm using it on. Yeah, looks like it will be. Cool. Where are you? Wasn't that was a mage's arm guard as well I'm looking for? There it is, thank you. And that should be able to get zombie proof. Nice one. So that's three party members now who can't be afflicted with zombie while we have these equipped. That's going to be helpful. So that, that's really bad, Chris. So the, uh, the Final Fantasy IX guidebook has codes that are completely useless. Well, that's just silly. That's all I can say to that. I just realised I've still got Kimari in my party. Luckily, we had the initiative, so it helped us. Now we've got a preemptive. Really helpful. Switch to Kimari for a second. Mm. 
then T just comes back to the battlefield. One down. Miss. Nice. Well, I'd like to see. That's just not... That's very, very irritating. Try stealing again. Not this time. That might mean I can make a fourth one. So, Kimari. Armlet. Okay. Confused ward. Not bad. That's Aurons. Ah, MP Stroll, get your MP back. Can I give in that with Zombie Ward? Or Zombie Proof, even? Yes, I can. I was saying, I'm sorry, I'm sorry for this, people. I really am. I really am sorry for this. I've got three more to go. Auron, Yuna, and Lulu. Having zombie proof here will make a big difference. We've been ambushed. Oh, okay. <laughs> but there is that, Chris. Yes, if it was bothering, you'd leave. I get that. But at the same time, it's still extremely tedious. The dumb dish. Not this time. Oh, excellent. Let's see if we can get some experience with people. One more time. Yay! Another couple of lunacorns. Awesome. <laughs> Ouch, that's harsh. And wow, I've just seen how much HP this enemy has. This enemy has an absolute crap ton of HP. Try water gar. That's rather annoying. Very nice. That did a load of damage. Now, Chris, you did not just say that in my chat. You did not just say that. Oh, that's incredibly annoying. Not much you can do when it uses a move like that. Very nice. Oh, even better. So I reckon if I had the damage cap um, breaking a brother, this um, battle here would be a lot easier because I'd be able to hit it for much more damage than the 999 damage cap. Oh. Only needs a thousand. I'm not messing around here. Oh, seriously. Four HP. That was literally all it had left. It has about four HP remaining. 
Aaron, finish it. Soldier, see four. Farewell. And I'm gonna say for an enemy that was that tanky. The only the only advantage is the I've already got one of you, so I'm gonna get rid of you. The only advantage is the level two key spur. At least we're getting the key at least it gives key spurs. There is that at least. Otherwise it's kinda of, well, I don't wanna say pointless, but it's not that rewarding to fight. Because six thousand AP is not a lot. It's not as it's not teeny mouse either. But considering I could get that from the from the um, behemoth, which was a much faster fight. Right, well we can't be zombified. Helpful. Doubly so. This time he hit me, but I am immune. Nice one. Oh. Um, great. <laughs> yeah, that, that's absolutely fine. Miss. Not got a problem with that at all. Ooh, low on health. In which case... One set up. So, how shall we do this? Fast. That's how we'll do this. Oh no. You're not breaking out into song, are you, Chris? Enough. Oh, nice. No now we're waste. absolutely Let's demolishing go. the enemy then. You see, we've got 7,000. We've got more AP for that battle than we did against that massively tanky enemy. So sometimes it feels weird in terms of the rewards from battle. They just don't seem balanced at times. It's strange. Very true, Queen. Yep, Auron definitely has no chill. You know what he's like. He gets straight to the point and carries on with it, doesn't he? Right, I don't believe that I have enough to formulate a new one. That's from Wacker. So let's go for... Yeah, one for Auron. Or even for Yuna, actually. Let's say I wanted... You see, stone-proof and sleep-proof. So I were to get the stone-proof one and put zombie-proof on it. The game says, no, I'm too short. Okay. Avian, you think it's bad that our run uh, looks like that at 35? Sid in Final Fantasy VII is meant to be 32, apparently. Which I've never quite understood because he, the whole mentality of his character do, doesn't fit that age to me. Might just be me. I might be reading too much into it. Immune. Ooh, Tidus is low on health there. You'd, you'd think that'd be the kind of age, wouldn't you, um, Avian? But no, that, that, that's that's exactly that's exactly who it is. Seriously.
Wow. So <laughs> yeah, so we're, we're, back, we're back in the JRP tr JRPG trope, people. We're playing teenagers. Always seems to be the way, doesn't it? Yeah, that hurts it, alright. Now, Alron, execute him. That's how it's done. Ah, okay, so there's only half the party. That makes a bit more sense. Well, after with the run, so who knows how um, how old Kimari is? No one has a clue. Right, meantime, the one for you know I wanted was the soft ring. we have not got any that have all three, so if we do that, petrify and zombie proof could be very very useful. There it is. Now I've got the defending ring. Yeah. One of the things I never I need to I need to actually figure out uh, what the age of my uh, next cosplay is, is going to be. Because uh, one, of, one of the cosplayers I'm debuting, uh, um, Animanov, has finally arrived, people. So Kimari be 25 as a surprise. I, I, I was wondering if they might have done um, what happened in another game, where that kind of character was actually far younger than people realised. Oh, we could be in serious trouble here. Yeah, the game screwed me over. The game has royally screwed me over. This is why I don't like the mechanics in this game sometimes. I think some of the mechanics are borderline busted. I really do. I'll tell you what, I'm going for this overdrive so we can get rid of one of the enemies. That's a waste. That's money off the battlefield. So I say, what I find really irritating, this was all caused by the ambush. They, they say that the enemy bound, the enemy groupings in this game are designed to party wipe you, and it's just not fun. It's not fun to play. Especially considering that I don't get anywhere near the preemptive attacks that they do. It needs to be balanced. The game is just not balanced in my opinion. And it makes it a tedious experience. It's so it could be so much better than it is this game. I still don't get it. Why do people rave about this game so much? I really don't get it. That then, I guess. Take your flamethrower and fuck off. Off my battlefield, you asshole. Ah. 
I won't mind this so much if I didn't have to constantly switch my party out for them to be able to learn experience. I find that incredibly annoying. Oh, Maki, you can finish this one. It's interesting seeing all these um, points being mentioned in the chat. This is all story contacts that we haven't got. Ah, finally we got a preemptive strike. Well, this could come in handy. I don't want to. I don't want to waste it. I want to save it. Helpful. You can click the... I don't want to I don't want to put any more weak parts in straight away. Oh, nicely tanked. Very nicely tanked. You can afford it, there's another one. If you can click the switch to loot, so she can raise the reflex. Not the song by the round around for all you 80s fans out there. That's not what I was getting at. I've now got a primed summon to use as well, so I can always use Battle and try and get Magafly beyond 999 because it seems to do that straight away. Oh, excellent. Well dodged. That's what I like to see. More of that, please. Yep, we're finishing this this turn. Might rinse every one of all their resources move. Because I can. How anyone got through areas like this without using the spear gun, I've no idea. How do you possibly do that? The enemies do way too much damage. Now there'll be like some like, oh, the ductile rod. What does that do? Strength plus 5%. Uh, I'm not getting rid of that, that's for damn sure. So a strength weapon for Yuna is kind of pointless because, well, she, you, she's all magic. Her physical attack is pathetic. But I suppose if you get the right skill, it could possibly be used. Yeah, definitely has a lot of health. You're not wrong, have you? I'm trying to find something to replace. No, I'm not the rod of fire. Let's not do that. Give me something that I can swap. Anything at all. Find the long sword. I'll get rid of that.
Just quickly gonna say F. No, I'm not going off, I'm too sharp. Okay, that's fine. I've literally got Lou and um, Aaron to deal with. Once that's done, we're ready to go. Alright, I'll tell you what. to the back of the queue, you. Finish him. Didn't need that, but look at that. Can use that. Thank you. Finish it. Fatality. Finish it. Brutality. That's a fix there. Um, oh, you got a keyboard problem. Oh, that's not good. Very annoying when you have a keyboard issue. Very, very irritating. Right, if I quickly go to equip. Yeah, zombie proof, zombie proof, zombie proof. Zombie proof. Right, yeah, so I'm right. I'm absolutely right. Cool. So for Aaron, I can uh, the rings. No, it's the it's the bracelet that he uses, isn't it? So I've got lightning ward, magic defense, HP higher. So I've got a couple of HP increase. That'll do. I'll use that one. Ah, oh, it's a Bluetooth one. Yeah, I know the kind. I have one of those for my tablet. It was annoying. So I can give him the blessed bracelet. Or a blessed bracer even. I'll say that in English. Very good. Right, just one more to do, people. And then I will have a party who can't be hit with zombie. And then it'll turn out that I need a totally different piece of equipment, but at least I've got it in the bank for any time I find enemies like this again. Who hit you with zombie. Wouldn't that have made that battle against um, Seymour a lot easier? Oh, not ambushed by one of you. Can't be bothered with that. Steal from it and then we're out of here. Agree, Chris. Yeah, the R R was very unpredictable, aren't they? Wireless, wireless keyboards, wireless anything, to be honest. Oh, for God's sake. Why am I caught? Why is this happening? Honestly, it's getting on my nerves. I don't know why it's doing it. It keeps saying excellent connection. That's the problem, Chris. I don't get it. No, I saw it as well, Chris. I saw it as well. You're not alone. <laughs> I mean, Avian. I, <laughs> I, I, I know the I know the pressures and everything else, but there's um, some things we should avoid doing. Right, I can make this work purely for the act of stealing. I'm 
believe I'm missing one. I think I need to just, if I quickly, I'm not going to use it on this one. Yeah, I'm right. I'm, I need one more set of, uh, one more set of, of stealing. And then it's ready. I did say to check back in about half an hour, people, and I've actually gone longer than I thought. I wasn't actually, I wasn't being flippant when I said it. I said it was going to take a long time. So it's rather annoying because, I mean, the good thing is we can kind of move move further on the spear grid as well, so it could be worse. And again, we've stolen quite a lot of useful items. We've got quite a lot of lunar curtains. So it might be possible for me to use, like, Riku's items to make a version of Mighty Guard or something. Hey, we got preemptive. You know, I could fight this enemy, but I can't be bothered. I really can't. And they say the only reason to fight them is the level 2 keys first. You can farm them at least. Oh, good lord. We this enemy does not want to leave us alone. It's like them being stopped by Metal Gear. Metal Gear. Right, okay. Oh, I know what I should have done then. There's one thing I should have done, but you know what? I just realised something. I'm not going to need to steal all from all three of them. So let's get rid of Mr. Flamethrower guy. Um, it's, uh, we're in the part of the game where that's the way it is, K-Pop. But good evening to you. Welcome to the stream. The reason I've been running around fighting them all this time is to get armor that defends against zombies. It's been incredibly annoying. It's taken a long time. But we think we're finally there. Oh, we've also got a prison ball. Ooh, magic counter. Strength plus five. I need a sword that I can... I need a, anything I can drop that's not that useful. No, I'm not losing that. Poison touch could come in handy. Right, that's useless. Yeah, the thing is, like, even though they've got blind um, K-Par, they still hit all the time. So I don't quite get why that status is even showing. It seems very ineffective to them. So unless they've got a naturally high accuracy, which is possible, it's not made much of a difference anyway. So now I need to finally make one for Lulu. And then with that, we will have no zombie ability for anyone. Everyone is protected from zombie. Which will be handy in this area around here. To say the least. Oh, the bright bangle could be a good shout. That's just a regular bangle. I don't use. I use the bright bangle. That'll do. This one here. And there it is, zombie proof. Is it? That's it, the blessed bungle. Right. I'll remount up now that I can carry on with this and let's keep going. Hallelujah. The grind for anti zombie gear is over. It's taken way too long. It's one of the most boring parts of the stream, and I thank every one of you who stayed. No other way. Use me and defeat. 
Was that young Seymour? Will the people accept you? I don't care about them! I need you, Mother! No one else! I don't have much time left. Hey, wasn't that... Seymour? So he was a whiny little shit back then as well, was he? Colour me surprised. Yeah, I can't be arsed fighting this battle, so I will steal from you. And then we're getting out of here. Sorry, see you later. That's a pie, actually. Let's go back on the sphere grid. Might as well. Right, it looks like Tidus is at the end of his rope here for now. So, if I quickly go to use... I have two more level key spheres. Okay, here we go. Maybe, Chris. Maybe a car. I'm going to use the last of my um, level 3 key spheres, and I've got one level 4. But I want that for a reason. Yes, yes, I am, Chris. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see it through, and then I'm gonna be like, oh, too bad. Right, for now, I don't need to use the key sphere with him, so I'm not going to. Well, I wonder what that does, Sentinel. I'll find out because going up here, I can either, if I go on the level three, it then brings me onto this route, which is a totally new way. I need more level keys for level three keys first. Huh? Hang on, so Oh I see, that's why it'd be two if you put me there, that's fine. Might as well complete it. Yes, Kimari, Kimari can protect Yuna by sharing the same space as her. Because reasons. Right, hang on a second. Ooh, there's all kinds of routes there, and that's the black magic route as normal. Oh, we can carry on here to get the... Oh, the Thundara Fira route. Wouldn't that be even... Wouldn't that be better? Surely it would be. And then that'd also get us onto the bio and everywhere else. So yeah, okay, cool. I say the, the sphere grid is a terrible design. It really is bad. It's a bad design, in my opinion. Higher level spells is always good, and more MP for mug, which I've not actually I've not actually been using much. Believe it or not, I barely use mug. Which says more about me and the way I've played the game. Right, that's everyone all sphered out, so let's carry on. That was a big fat nothing there, but there is a chest over this way. Yeah, nah, we're not fighting you. I've got better things to do in my time. See you later, bye bye. You're too grindy, you're too annoying. Oh, we got another strength sphere. Very nice. So another friend sphere will definitely come in handy. I mean, I could use that to make um, Lulu learn holy. If I really wanted to. Or, better than that, I've got a better idea. Once Lulu gets double cast, 
I'm going to move Yuna over there. Yuna with double cast. All I need, first of all, is to get Lulu to learn it. That's an even better idea. Uh, oh, it's, it's jacked. Our own hey, and Braska. Braska. You don't have to do this. Thank you for your concern. Fine, I said my piece. Well, I haven't. An Lord old scarred one. Let us go back. I don't want to see you die. You knew this was to happen, my friend. Yes, but I... I cannot accept it. <laughs> Oren, I am honored that you care for me so. But I have come to kill grief itself. I will defeat sin and lift the veil of sorrow covering Spira. Please understand, Oren. And no one says anything to him. No one says a word. What kind of sense does that make? Is it just me? No, oh, more treasure. That's, I care more about that. That's more important to me. A Lux Sphere. Nice. There's a save point up here. But I can't use it because we're going to see a cutscene first. Are the trials ahead? Probably. Here too, huh? Give me a break. I was expecting, you know, parades and fireworks. You can ask for them after I defeat Sin. Oh. I love how the, um... How the chat hasn't been able to read the emojis that were put up there. Well, over right, a slightly older save this time. Oh no. No, absolutely not. I am not playing Trials Tetris. Nah. Nah, 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 nah. Thank you very much. But that is a perfect point for us to say farewell for tonight because I am not starting playing one of those. Not happening. I am not starting one of those right now. I will be here all night and I can't be bloody bothered. So... <laughs> I apologise for the final hour being kind of repetitive and dull, but that's kind of my streams for you all. But we are on a clock, because believe it or not, we have less than a month to finish this game, because otherwise it's going to disappear into the ether lock for a very, very long time. So I'm going to try and take advantage. Um, that's a fair part of the question. Yeah, I forgot about that. I'm not watching the sprint race, though. It's not happening. Uh, but I'm going to try and do what I can to make our characters even stronger offline, see if I can avoid that situation happening again. And maybe we can edge closer to the end. Until then, thank you all very, very much for watching. And the zombie grind is real, people. Oh, yeah.